Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Truth Report for this week. Yesterday, the 14th of August, was on the Jewish calendar the 9th of the month of Av, uh, Av Tishba Av. And it's a day when um, uh, knowledgeable Jews, uh, uh, biblically knowledgeable Jews, uh, memorialize the destruction of Solomon's temple and also in AD 70 of uh, Herod's temple, the destruction of the central place of worship for the Jews. And there are a whole list of uh, catastrophes that have overtaken the Jewish people through the centuries on Tish B'Av, on the 9th of Av. Uh, but at the same time, even today, there is a call, and there is a movement actually in Israel to rebuild the temple, to establish a third temple. <clears throat> it's time to build. It's time to build, reads the tagline of the Temple Institute at the latest YouTube video. The phrase encapsulates the group's controversial mission to rally Jews to reconstruct the temple that was the heart of their religion until destruction 2,000 years ago. Our goal this is what uh, Rabbi Chaim Richmond, who heads the Temple Institute, says, Our goal is to raise the consciousness of the Jewish people and all humanity toward the central role that the Holy Temple plays in the life of mankind. <clears throat> uh, uh, let's see. We, we very much focused. We're very much focused on getting the message out on the channels of social media and all things all the things that people are into today, most of my work, he says, is internet related. The problem, Rabbi Richmond says, the problem for the supporters is that the Temple Mount uh, and the old city of Jerusalem is sacred not only to the Jews, but to Muslims and Christians as well. The site includes the Dome of the Rock, Golden Dome, and the Al-Aqsa Mosque, two of the most significant shrines in Islam. Israel chose to leave it under Muslim control in 1967 when they, when they uh, recaptured uh, Jerusalem and has made it an undivided city. Um, and uh, since then, Jewish prayer is, has been prohibited there. Ever since, even rumors have changed to the, quote, status quo, end of quote, let alone provocative calls to build a third temple in their place have provoked international Muslim ire and Palestinian violence. Tensions surrounding the Temple Mount played a major role in the first and second Palestinian intifadas or the uprisings and helped trigger the most recent wave of attacks that started in October. <clears throat> and finally, the prophets. The prophets constantly emphasize that the pillars of the Temple are a society that is full of justice, charity, and humanity, and without pride. I really believe, says the rabbi, I really believe that if the temple will be rebuilt in this situation without those pillars, it will be destroyed again. The fact of the matter is, it will be rebuilt. The scriptures indicate that. And there is a strong movement now. The priests are being qualified. The accoutrements of the temple are, are in place. So it's just a matter of time. And what will trigger that is given to us in Daniel chapter 9, verse 24. It is the prophecy of Daniel's 70th week. It's a seven-year period that will be initiated by a world leader. And apparently, uh, part of that initiation involves the authorization of Israel to build a third temple. So when we see the third temple being built, we know that the, that the Messiah's coming is near. That seven-year period is a countdown to the coming and the return of Jesus, our Messiah. So that's very important. But it's very important also to recognize that three and a half years into that seven year period, the Antichrist commandeers the temple. Listen to what 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, uh, verse 3 says, Don't let anyone deceive you, the apostle says, in any way for that day, the day of the Lord, the day of the wrath of God, the unprecedented wrath of God will not come until the, the apostasy. And once again, Atheists and non-believers don't apostatize. Those who are believers are departing from the faith, a mass depart departure from the faith on the part of many. That day will not come until the apostasy occurs and the man of lawlessness is re revealed, the man doomed to destruction, the Antichrist. He will be revealed, will recognize him for who he is. 
He will oppose and exalt himself over everything that is called God or is worship so that he sets himself up in God's temple. Where? In God's temple. So that, that anticipates uh, the existence of a temple at that time. He sets himself in God's temple. He commandeers the temple proclaiming himself to be God. The most blasphemous thing he can do. And of course this, this initiates the wrath of God toward that. So when we see the temple being built and it's coming, it could very well take place in our day. I, I fully expect that. So when we see that seven year period initiated where the temple is authorized to be rebuilt, look up for your redemption is drawing near. Jesus is coming soon. And that's the truth. <laughs>